guys welcome to my video on how to fix your unable to connect to world if you're joining uh, uh, one of your one of your friends servers if this happens to you for example let's see a friend and you want to join so if it's taking a while connecting to multiplayer so most probably we have a problem here so it's going to end up like this one unable to connect to world okay so for this video we're going to have uh, a fix for this problem okay so let's just uh, close this first okay let's close it and let's check your Xbox settings so type Xbox networking and then click this so you'll see here okay so it's going to have this message NAT type and then sometimes server connectivity sometimes this is blocked or this is connected um, the first thing that you should need uh, to adjust is in your router this is a router related problem so whatever network that you have whatever ISP that you have uh, it's really good to um, know how to access uh, your admin uh, part of your of your uh, of your router So if you're like me, um, we're using a PLDT home fiber uh, router. So you need to go to the application tab. And then you need to go first to the UPnP. This is your universal plug and play. Okay, uh, by default, this is in disable. So you have to enable this. This will dictate if your NAT or NAT is, uh, is open or strict. Now, if it's enabled, then that will be open. So you click apply. Okay. And then the next fix will be uh, you have to set your DMZ. Okay. So this is uh, by default again, this is disabled. Now you need to enable it. And uh, by default, this has no uh, data here. There's no, there, there's no uh, IP address. So what you need to do here is to input the IP address of your computer. Now, if your computer is on a dynamic uh, IP, so uh, when you restart your computer, sometimes the IP address uh, uh, changes. So what you need to do is to get the IP address uh, by typing CMD in the search bar, command prompt. And then type ipconfig. Okay, and now you can look for the IPv4 address. So you need this. This is what we will uh, put. Okay, so select it, highlight it, Control C, and then that is your DMZ host IP. Okay, now in case you restart your computer and then it changes to another port you have to do this all over again okay so click apply so the DMZ now is your computer your, your host so you're you're the server so let, let's now try it Okay, after doing so, after changing your UPnP to enabled and then setting your DMZ using your IPv4 uh, IP address, so you can click this, fix it. And then they check again.
okay now it's open and then the server is connected so you can minimize this okay so after fixing the uh, uh, the UPnP and DMZ uh, features of your router so you have your UPnP open or enabled and then you have your DMZ uh, using your IP address um, it means that your server or your computer can now um, accommodate players okay now if you want to join the others in their world they need to have the same setup using yours so in this case uh, we're going to create a world and then I'm going to use my other account which is a free trial account uh, which is not yet expired to join um, my uh, my world here okay okay there you go so that's my other account game coders ph and uh, yeah okay so it's done see that that's my other account and this is mine you can move left and right they're now in my world so usually when uh, when I have a class uh, with the uh, game coders with my students this is our classroom okay so I hope this helps uh, again if you want to join the others uh, the others uh, game uh, game world they have to do the same thing they have to have an open NAT and then they have to reconfigure the DMZ of their router okay enable also UPnP okay so thank you and uh, good luck